Welcome back to Ciano is Mix from the Mix Creation. In today's video, we are going to look at the three months and six months contract. Yes, some people have already gotten up the three months contract and the six months contract. Remember, these are only contracts specifically for the World Cup. But the, my question or the question that is being asked by one of the subscribers or asked by many subscribers is that what is the fate after the three months or six months contract? Yes, what will happen after? Yes. Sure, I'll just give you my own perspective what I think. Yes, when we come to these contracts, yes, we come to do the contracts. They are short-term contracts. But remember, these are short-term contracts for World Cups, basically. You are earning more money than even those people on the two years contract. Yes, because it is a short-time contract. And definitely, the reason why you are here or the reason why you are being recruited is just because of the FIFA World Cup. And after the game, we never know what may happen depending on the contract that you sign with your employer. If your employer says, or in part of your contract that was signed with you, or one of your offer letter, normally those speculations are normally written out. Those clauses normally are written down. That after the contract, what are you going to do? Are we going to retain you, or we shall repatriate you back to your country? But remember, every contract that you contract and uh, you get in uh, to come into the country, your employer has a right to, your employer is obligate to take you back to where he picked you from or from your country of origin and that's normally what happens so to my own perspective i think the best way is to do is that once you get into this country with a three months or six months contract with the world cup yes there's a lot of opportunities you have what you call day offs you can try to move around to these companies and let them know that you'll, you'll, your contract will be ending six months or three months then probably in case they can take you up then probably they can take you after this contract that you sign with this company. But definitely, definitely, you also need to know that you will only have to first exit out of the country, then they can give you a fresh visa to return. Because remember, these contracts that you have, it may not be certain whether your current employer is going to give you a no objection certificate for you to choose to move to another job. Because for you to move to another job here in Qatar, you need what you call a no objection certificate a certificate that shows you uh, you are free to move but you find that most employers may not be willing to give you that and definitely the only way that you'll have to do is either to look up a job for yourself or to exit the country but normally i tell people the best way to do it is first use the day offs you have if you definitely like for example you're going to be here for three, six months or three months you have the first month may be a little bit very tactical because you are new to the area but after that first one month definitely you'll always have day off what are you going to do in your day off then probably you can try to research up some companies where you can apply you know it's always better to apply when you are within Qatar than outside outside becomes a little bit very tricky because even the person that is going to recruit you, he does not know the personality. He does not know the person that is this is, is going to recruit physically. Normally, the physical the physical perspective of the physical perspective of it all. Most of the employer want to have that. They better recruit someone that he knows that he has seen physically than recruiting someone that is coming overseas that he has not seen or is going to see on Skype. So that becomes a greater opportunity. But. You know, and something else still I need to let you know that once you're working for these current employers who have recruited for a World Cup, yes, definitely be humble. You only have to be humble to your supervisors and be those people. You never know. These people that you may discuss one people, these are people that are going to recommend you or these are people that you're going to talk to after. Hello, I'm so, I'm so, I'm still this one. Do you have any opportunity, please? I'm sure so, you remember me. Please recommend me. And this person may recommend you and better you can come back to the country and to have another opportunity. I think that is something that we also need to consider in any way but still also you need to be a little bit very humble and still something that i keep on telling people for those people that have come on a three or six month contract if you are here in that company and you came with your papers yes talk to these supervisors talk to this manager do your best do your best and do the quality let them know that in case they get to recruit you in that company or get to retain you in that company you can add up something to that company and that is what most employers want that you can add up something to 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 that company and definitely this is what is going to happen in one way or the other so definitely you find yourself that uh, 
you get the opportunity after but remember after all cup there is no fake there is no who knows what is going to happen but i know at the end of the contract the contract has to be fulfilled you will not have to change you cannot change any job unless you have what you call a no objection certificate that is allows you to change in one way or the other hope i've tried to answer that question so the only way you have to follow what i told you and it's the only opportunity that you can screw up a job in yourself thank you so much for coming back to this channel thank you so much for subscribing to this channel